now let's look for let's look for a more efficient solution to the maximum sub every problem using divide and conquer approach so um, this so-called divide and conquer thoughts is to uh, find the maximum sub area of a by dividing it first dividing it into two sub areas and these two sub areas they are of almost equal size so we should choose a midpoint within the sub area that's called the mid to be the midpoint it's also an index, an integer number. And so now let's consider a problem of any uh, contiguous sub area. Okay, so let's let's use a from i to j to be any kind of to be any uh, contiguous sub area within the input area. So such a sub area must lie in exactly one of the three places or three conditions first it is entirely in the left sub area from a low to mid okay that says the index for the contiguous sub area i and j must be uh, between low and mid the second case, it should entirely in the right sub area. And i and j is between mid plus one and high. So in the third case, um, i is between low and mid and j is mid between mid and high. So um, it is crossing the midpoints. Okay mid is in the middle between i and j so these three cases should uh, exhaustively uh, cover all cases of any contiguous sub area so now we um, the maximum sub area we want to find also must lie in um, one of the case one of the uh, three cases okay all right so uh, to the first two cases, we can use the uh, recursive way to find the two maximum sub areas for the left sub area and the right sub area because they are just smaller instances of the original problems. Right? It is just in shorter in size. But for the third case in which um uh, the we are crossing the midpoint then uh we use we should use a different method for that case okay and after we have find this uh the maximum sub areas for all the three cases we just compare their length and we find we just compare their value and try and find the uh find the sub area, just return the sub area that has the largest summation yeah, that's a uh, basic thought. And if we uh, summarize a bit, the steps here is is just the conquer step. Okay, the divide step is here. We've divided into two sub areas, and the combine step uh, is here. We just uh, return the largest one among the three uh, sums. So if we visualize the whole process a bit here and consider this area as the input and we first find the midpoint, right? So the elements here uh, on the left of the boundary has the index mid and on the right to it, to the right to of it is the mid plus one as its index. So uh, we have two sub areas, right? So we have three cases the maximum sub area should either should be one of the uh, three cases right so for any sub area that crosses the midpoint we have that many parts we can we can divide it into two parts right the right part is from i to mid and this the left part is here and the right part is from mid plus one to 
uh, to J. So basically, the divide and conquer algorithm find the maximum subvary with the largest sum among three solutions. The orange solution uh, corresponds to the first subproblem. The green correspond. The green solution it is uh, is to the second uh, subproblem, and the last one is the blue one that we want to solve. Okay, so this one, the blue one here, is the most special one. Okay, the blue one is the most special one because um, it has a condition, right? It has a condition that I should be greater than mid and J should be greater than, uh, should be greater than mid, but I should be smaller than mid. So this blue sub problem is not a smaller case, it is not a smaller instance of the original problem. But the orange one, the green one, they are just small instances. So we can solve these two, uh, use, use the recursive method. Okay. And uh, that's the brief introduction to the divine conquer thoughts on the maximum sub area problem. And in the next video, we're gonna see how the implementation uh, looks like.